the next edition of our Industry Insights series here at European Utility Week. I'm joined by Danny Stevens from Germany Trade and Invest. Welcome, Danny. Hi, good to be here. To start off with, tell us a little bit more about Germany Trade and Invest. Uh, Germany Trade and Invest is the economic development agency of the Federal Republic of Germany. Um, it's primarily a one-stop shop for incoming foreign direct investors looking to, collect to connect to markets and industries in Germany. Uh, we provide those connections. We also provide advice on taxation systems, on public funding, um, and very much part of what we do is help investors for greenfield investments with location search. Um, and we are particularly strongly promoting the new federal states at the moment. So what are the long-term plans for the energy transition in Germany, and what are the, some of the challenges that it's facing? The energy transition has been moving well. Since the feed-in tariffs were introduced in 2000, when the renewable energy share was 5%, uh, there were figures released the other day which showed that uh, renewable energies have covered 38% of the domestic demand for electricity in Germany over the first three quarters of 2018. This is clearly good progress when you're working towards a target of an 80% share by 2050. Um, the biggest challenges we've been facing over the past two, three years are the problems of intermittent supply. Obviously, renewable energies are rather weather dependent and into integrating those, those intermittent supply levels into the grid. Uh, so the challenges have been of, of storage, which is obviously the big challenge in renewable energy, and as well of uh, grid optimization and, and IT. Um, one of the solutions we're looking at at the moment is uh, to convert surface electricity to hydrogen by electrolysis. Um, hydrogen can then be introduced into the gas supply at a maximum of 10% and this can be used to help with heat and transport particularly. Um, so a power to gas solution is very prominent in what we're doing right now. How about the public perception of this energy transition in Germany? Are you getting where you want to be? The public perception of the, of the energy transition in Germany has been particularly strong and um, before it's been it's a developing industry and a new industry so it wasn't very well structured or very well frameworked and we now have the Electricity Market Act in 2016, which has helped provide um, a framework with, with two other bits of legislation as well for this industry. Um, the feed-in tariffs I spoke to, I mentioned before in 2000, they were a big stimulus for investment in the industry, and they created a lot of employment, um, particularly in construction, installation, and a whole load of other value-adding sectors to the Germany economy. The Renewable Energy Act of 2017 has enabled large-scale renewable energy installations um, and enabled them to be uh, cheaper than they used to be before. And the auction pricing system has also helped in this regard. The overall cost of energy in Germany is still relatively high. Um, but what we now have as a part of this legislation is the energy transition surcharge and energy intensive companies get a good relief from this surcharge. which means that energy intensive companies can continue to locate and invest in Germany and Germany is still an attractive location to them. We're also attacking that problem um, from, the, from the demand side. There's a big drive to make German companies and German households and buildings and transport much more energy efficient than it used to be. So can you expand a little bit more on this regulatory framework? Sure. Um, so what, what we're facing now is that 1.6 million producers of energy will have to be integrated into the grid over the next few years. And this is a, this is a very costly project. The government has spent 4 billion euros on this alone um, during the course of 2017. Now part of this has been Sinteg. And what Sinteg is, the, the acronym stands for Schaufenster Intelligente Energy, so the shop window for intelligent energy. It's five model regions spread all the way across Germany. All 16 federal states are involved. Um, and these five model regions are working on different parts of the challenges that I mentioned before that we're facing. So grid optimization, optimization of the market prices, right down to a very micro regional level from producer to producer. Um, the, the project has been funded to the tune of 230 million euros by the Federal Ministry for Economic Affairs and Energy, and they anticipate 370 million euros of private investment going into the project on top of that. Uh, there are hundreds of companies involved across the five regions. And the overall picture that's being built up through the results of these five models is an is a overview into what the future of the energy industry in Germany will look like um, with a fully integrated renewable energy supply. Thank you, that's very interesting. Thank you for joining us here at European Utility Week. Pleasure, thank you.